you. <laughs> Gosh, so I mean, do I sit back here? Okay. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to the pink envelope. I have the Steal It box by Decor Stills, their spring summer 2023. So it's been exactly one year since I opened one of their boxes and you guys have been raving about the boxes saying that they've been just nailing it. So I was like, okay, well it's time to bring them back and see what they're up to. I have with all of my might avoided spoilers, except for I know one thing, I know of one thing that's in here. I don't know what it looks like. So I'm gonna be truly opening this, and this is gonna be my first reveal on everything. When this box went live, I was one of the very first to order it. And they, the way Steal It Box works is, they ship in the order that you order it. So first in, first out, and that's how it continues to go until the box sells out. If you are new around here, Decor Stills is a home decor site. They created a non-recurring box, so not a subscription box, you have to order it each time you want one, that comes out three times a year. So they have fall, winter, and spring, summer as of the last couple of years. It is $124.99 with $5 shipping in the U.S., which, look, look at this box, like look, $5 shipping is hilarious. So keep that in mind as you're calculating the $124.99 price. Uh, if you want to sign up, and check it out, it's not a recurring. So every time you want a box, you have to go back and sign up again, which is really great for people who don't like the subscription model. The URL down below will have any latest offers and the ability to sign up to get this box. Uh, They're saying there are seven full-size items with a value of $400. This is a modern farmhouse styled box, seasonally inspired, on trend and versatile. And yeah, boxes are shipping right now. What I will say is, the last spring summer box I got, which is 2022, it was great. It was a great box. So I am excited to open this one because I've heard all the boxes in between that one and this one have also been amazing. Okay, so normally I set this on my stool, as you guys well know, and then we open it. My stool is not gonna be able to hold this. So we're gonna do this. When I first opened the box, these two items are sitting on top and it looks like this. As of right now, at releasing this box, there is inventory left. I don't know how much inventory, but there, the box hasn't sold out yet. And here it says they have a digital style guide on this. This is a printable, it is a double-sided art print that you could put in a frame. In one of my last Decor Stills box, they gave us a gorgeous frame that this can go in. I'll have to go find it. It's gold and amazing. So that would look really cute in that frame they already gave us in one of the past boxes. And then I think this is the first time I've gotten a catalog. I've had a mix of influencer boxes sent to me plus purchased boxes sent to me. And I've never gotten a catalog, so I don't know if this is something new. I did purchase this box with my own dineros and yeah, I just did a quick flip through and it's all the contents of this box. We'll loop back to this because I love uh, having itemized and catalogs available. I don't care if they're in print or online. I just want something to talk about what's in the box. A, to make sure I'm not missing anything and B, to talk about sizes, style tips, etc. cetera. Oh, looks like they've taken some tips from other subscription boxes. This is also different. The boxes that have items in them are labeled and the ones that are empty are labeled as empty, which is actually really, really convenient. So we're gonna pop all these empties out and toss them to the side. Okay, <laughs> let me push these out of the way. Ooh, styrofoam. This is gonna be one of those days where it's gonna be messy up in here. But look what I see. Legs. I see legs to something ginormous. Also thought I would note, look at the bottom of my box. This is why I had to go get Jonathan to help me. Hold on. The bottom of the box is busted out from the amount of weight that is in here. Now everything looks good, it's packed safe and it looks great, but woo wee. So maybe this is gonna be the way to do it. We'll kind of stack it over here. Well, some of it will stack. What the actual heck? Whoop, there went something. 
we're gonna be building today, folks. This is some nifty packing. So look, inside the big item, all the boxes are nestled in. It's like pretty sweet. Oh my gosh. This thing is huge and it smells so good. It smells like wood. And if you've been on my channel at all, you know I love fresh cut wood, sawdust. That whole smell smells so good. <laughs> so the item I had just picked up from people talking is bench. I kept hearing about a bench. And a lot of people were comparing it to a specific bench at Target. And everybody I talked to, I was like, well, the bench at Target is $150 for the bench alone. I might as well order the box. I'm guessing that's what this guy is. So it looks like we've got a cushion. I super hope this is a bench. I need a bench for the foot of my bed in my bedroom. I've had the same bench in there for, I don't know, 10 plus years. And it's, we upgraded to a king bed and the bench is real small, so it looks super goofy. So we've got a cushion. It's not overly full, but if it was sitting on top of a bench, that would make sense. Fluff me up. I am removable. Use me as a floor pillow too. So yeah, it does look like it goes around the base of the top of a bench with the Velcro. I'm also noticing there is a zipper right here. So yes, it has a pillow, individual pillow insert inside with the wrap on the outside. Can we wash it? Can we clean it? It's very convenient that it comes apart. Spot clean only in dry, flat, do not machine wash, do not dry clean. Oh, that part's a bummer. But at least if you spot clean it and you put it in the sun, that part's nice. But darn, I really wish we could have washed it. A, because it's white, so it's going to pick up stains. And B, because it's a bench, which means a whole lot of booties are going to be sitting on it. Let's put this together. Okay, so this all looks like wood, and maybe this part is like a particle board, but the outer edges of it do look like they are made of wood. So that's what that side looks like, and here's what the other side looks like. And then we have legs we need to attach, and then I'm guessing this cushion wraps around the outer edge. Uh, everything seems very, very sturdy, which in a bench, that's kind of the first thing that was going through my mind is how sturdy is this? I have kids and it all looks great. So in here, it looks like it has all the hardware we're gonna need. That's nice. And let's grab our instructions that ran away and let's see how hard it is to put this together. That's what I'm really curious about. Voila. I mean, they look like Ikea instructions. <laughs> Maybe a little bit easier. You know how Ikea gets super carried away? This, this looks a little bit easier. Okay, so these four guys go with these four. Can y'all see right here? So we're going to align these. I'm gonna hang it over the edge so it's a little bit easier. Like so. And pull out our nifty little bag of screws. It says take a washer, put it on the screw, line it up, and then twist with the little wrench thing. Well, that was super easy. Okay, so repeat that exact same thing seven more times and we'll have ourselves a bench. Let's go. Okay, halfway so far, super easy to do. It looks like it's gonna be really stinking cute too. And I have to say, I don't know what kind of wood. It is from a wood company, it says here on the thing, and it does feel solid, and it's solid and slightly heavy, but not like overly heavy. That was easy, like super fast, super easy. Let's flip it over and see. <laughs> okay, all the legs are sturdy. It's level. I love, can y'all see? Let's turn it like this. It has like a rope detailing on here. I love that. If you are looking at this and you're like, ah, oh, 
The wood tones in my house are not that color. You're gonna be able to paint over this or you could tape this and paint this. This bench would be very, very easy to paint any color that you needed. You could leave it without any paint on it or you could paint parts of it. You could leave no cushion, you could add a cushion. I'm putting the cushion on right here just because I'm, of course, curious. Oh my gosh. Okay, but let me show you from top. I might have put the cushion too tight. This is what it looks like. Okay, let me take it to my room. Let's at least like set it in some kind of, let me put it into like real world use so you can see it better because this is just not working. Okay, give me a second. start to opening the box. I am really glad I didn't look. Okay, so let me see what this says in here. This, yeah, might be the biggest item I've ever received. For, yeah, yeah. John just asked if y'all couldn't hear him. He's like, is that the biggest item you've received? And yeah, it's huge. I don't know, hold on. I mean, I'm gonna put all the measurements for things down below so you guys can have all of that. But it is 42 inches long, 15 inches wide, and 20 inches on the handle, the seat is 16. That's a hardy thing to receive in a box like that. And it says on here, the natural wood bench. This is a padded natural wood bench. You can remove the cushion and our bench can be used as a coffee table as well. And I just showed you how I have it, but here are two options of how they're decorating with it. Pretty stinking cool. Okay. What do we have next? Now from here, you guys, I know nothing at all from here. That was the one item I had kind of heard about. Now, I will say, several people were like, I think the bench alone's worth 150. I wouldn't pay 150 for this bench, but I would definitely say, I would say it's, it's a $100 bench, $9, $900. Like if you were to run it to Target, this would be easily $99. So at 124 for the box plus $5 shipping, we just got a whole, <laughs> like, <laughs> We got a whole lot of gravy coming up in here. Uh-oh, greenery. Greenery is always a fun one for me to get because I'm super picky with my greenery. So we'll see. But I have standards. So like the last garland I got from Decor Stills, although I would have never used it in my house, I put it outside on the patio and it was gorgeous and it lasted well, for a very long time, because then I moved it and I put it on the edge of our chicken coop and it's still out there and it's still gorgeous and it's been outdoors over a year at this point, so. Okay. Huh. Let me get it fluffed. Like here, here it is not fluffed and we can't judge anything like that. Poor little guy's been in. Is it a garland or is it a wreath? I am a wreath. Wait, I'm a garland. Actually, I can be either, it's your choice. Well played. So this is what it looks like. Let me fluff it a little bit so we see it as a wreath. Very well played. The leaves are wired, so it's gonna be very easy for you to adjust these how you want these to look. I think the leaf quality is very good. There's a white powder all over it. Um, 
I'm not sure what that's about, but I, I'm gonna wipe it off because it's making the leaves look weird and the leaves, once the powder actually is wiped off, look great. Like, look at this one, look how white it is. Whoopsie, can y'all see? I don't know what that is, but once that comes off, the leaf is actually a very, very pretty leaf. So here is the guy fluffed. He fluffs really easy, is very adjustable. I mean, you can bring leaves in, you can bring them out. It's very accommodating to how wide or how narrow you want it to be, which is nice because if you're putting it on the door, maybe you want it to be a little more narrow. So you're gonna bring more of those leaves inward. And if it's gonna be out on like a big patio area, you might bring some of those leaves outward to make the wreath bigger. And on the back, you can see why I was like, what is this? Where the two hooks are? Okay, so I just got a wet paper towel. Let's just see. Interesting. I don't know what the powder is, but the leaves, once you kind of wipe them up and get some of that, the heavier chunks of powder off are fabulous. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna like completely wipe the leaves, just in the spots where like the white has gotten a little too heavy for my liking. You may look at the leaf and be like, oh my gosh, it's absolutely perfect, and do nothing. I'm pulling out and adding streaks. So like literally, let me show you this leaf right here. So this one right here has a lot of that, whatever it is. I am literally going to pull some of it out, almost like dabbing it like you're seeing me do just in the spots where I think it's too heavy. Cause like this leaf right here, I completely wiped it. And I love the way that one looks. So like this one here, like that's too heavy for me. Right there, that's too heavy. So I'm gonna pull some of that off just to make it more my style and my liking. Oh yeah. Oh, I like the way the texture looks once I, I dab it. Don't wipe it, I'm dabbing it. I love the way the texture looks in the leaf. So look at that inside leaf now that I've dabbed it. Very pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there because I wanna open it as a garland real quick. So I just unhook the two, the two hooks on the back. Okay, when you unhook it, you're gonna see there's wires right here. You need to untwist these wires right here. That is going to release the garland as a full length. I was saw those earlier and was wondering if it was a leaf missing, but it's not. It's actually what's keeping it. So then see it right there? Just tuck it back like that so you can use it later if you want it for a wreath. Take it and just tuck it around the base. That's brilliant, man. That's really, really brilliant. I love that the part that ties off to make it a wreath is actually stuck on to the garland so you don't lose the twist ties. It's these little bitty things that are so brilliant. So here it is as an unfluffed garland. <laughs> Voila, unfluffed. The base is wired, so literally you just need to bend it straight back out. So see, it's already wanting to lay straight for me. Just bend it the opposing way. And then let's we'll see how the leaves fluff once they're not all together. Oh yeah, because there's actually leaves and then there's branches and you could have them going, look, straight up, straight to the side. You really can dictate what this sucker's gonna do. I don't mind like draping garlands like this, like, you know, on a table, in the center of a dining room table across a shelf but I love hanging garlands in like a doorway on the, uh, around the frame of the entry of my home, around the eaves of the chicken coop, on the edge of the brand new pink envelope playhouse, which is gonna be releasing very soon for you guys to see. I'm thinking I want this guy to trim out the pink envelope playhouse entry. Um, I give this guy a big thumbs up. I like him. Look at the colors, look at the textures. And I do like that 
you can kind of dictate how the leaves look. So you can see like this one over here, I didn't wipe it down as much. And you can decide what is a look for you. You can decide if it's a garland, if it's a wreath. I do have the dimensions on this guy down below so you can take a peek. I, I, <laughs> I need a bigger desk for this, all of this to hang on. Okay, let's see. Can I just slide it through here? Okay, we got the bench over here and we got the garland over here. <laughs> I don't have enough space for it. Magnolia leaf garland wreath. What better way to invite the season of change than with this beautiful foliage of a magnolia tree. Dimensions are six foot as a garland and 23 inches as a wreath. It does say for indoor use only. So I feel like I should put that disclaimer on there. The last uh, garland also said for indoor use only, but I'm gonna let you know. I'm probably gonna be putting it outside. <laughs> My last one from them did so good outside. Okay, very cute, very uh, universal pieces. I don't know if I would say these are spring items or these are summer items, they're year round items, which is great. <laughs> I have no clue what this is. Looks like a compass. Oh! Is it hold candles? I think it holds candles. Lumiere, is that you? It looks like Lumiere. Well, that's cute. It looks super, super hardy, like super like weighty and refined, it actually isn't that heavy. I think, in fact, it's light enough that if you wanted to put it on a floating shelf, you could. The cast iron candelabra of versatile, sleek, and vintage flair are the words that roll off the tongue when thinking about the cast iron candelabra. Eight inches by five inches by 10 inches. And this is what it looks like when they style with it. I mean, once again, you could put this on a mantle, you could put this beside a stack of books, you could put this on a stack of books, it could go on a shelf, it could go on a dining room table, it could go just about anywhere. It's, it is an incredibly universal piece. And I think it looks really beautiful with these pieces, with that natural wood, with that magnolia leaf. I love it. Once again, I'm still, great quality, beautiful items. I don't know how it's spring, summer in, in theme, but I mean, I'm not complaining, they look great. If you got this box, comment below and tell us what you're thinking. I mean, I was like, literally they released it, I ordered it. So we all should be getting our boxes, those first batch at the same time. I would love to know your thoughts. Oh, is this an artichoke video? Is this like on trend for the season? I have maybe never in my life owned a finial. Not against them, in fact, I think they're wonderful. This one is absolutely gorgeous. But this is the second one I have received this season. Now I will tell you, this one sitting beside the other one I received this season is going to be gorgeous. So if you know what I'm talking about, you know the other subscription box I'm referencing, this one sitting beside that one will look beautiful. Let's go back to like a stack of books. Stack of books, this guy sitting on top with the other one sitting on the base because it's so much larger. It's a whole mood and I'm here for it. I also am digging this. This flows very nice. But I do, I mean, y'all gotta talk to me. Have I missed some announcement on trends for artichoke finials to be like trending for 2023? The artichoke finial statue, delightfully unexpected and bursting with unearthed charm. Oh yeah, they have it on a stack of books as well. Four inches by four inches by 6.2 inches. Very cute. I'm here for that. This is kind of heavy, whatever this is. You styrofoam. Is it a cauldron? No. <laughs> well, kind of. Well, kind of. Okay. So it's a black bowl. Decorative black bowl, I would assume you're not supposed to be serving out of this just based on the textures. It has a very like, like a clay swirl texture, like look at the inside to it. It has four handles around the outside and it has feet on the bottom. 
Now, it is the same family of whatever this guy is, this guy is. They coordinate beautifully in texture and color. He does have feet at the bottom, so he's not gonna scratch when you set him down on the counter. The handmade black bowl. Lingering wonder and boastful charm are the epitome of this handmade distressed bowl. 10.6 inches diameter by four inches height. The opening diameter is eight inches. Do not use any abrasive household cleaners and used with wrapped food only. So like we always say, get some craft paper or some wax paper, put it at the bottom, then put the food on top. Or just use it in a decorative manner. Now, y'all have heard me say this a million times. I am all about items that can be in decor. So like, you know, sitting on a shelf, decorative, but then I have somebody coming over, I can grab it, line it with wax paper, and serve from it. I have a small house, so I can't have like serving wear in decorative wear. I need my things to be interchangeable. And I think that that right there really disqualify. Very cute. Okay, we have this box and this box still to go. This one's like featherweight and this one's heavy. So let's open the heavy one. It's a paddle. It's a cutting board or it's a decorative board. It is a... Oh, a very solid chunk of wood. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's a cutting board. Obviously, if you're serving it like this, it could be a hella great charcuterie. You could put some cheese and meat on there. This guy's really big. I am food safe. Please only hand wash me by hand and keep me dry so I stay looking good. Okay, that definitely is bonus points. We receive a lot of these boards. <laughs> They're very popular to send right now. Um, but it is shocking how many of them are not food safe. Like you get them and then they're not meant to be used with food. And I'm like, well, what are we supposed to do with it? <laughs> so this is gonna be cute. If y'all have been tracking, I just got it out the side of the island bar of my kitchen. And I just put this natural raw wood and I'm putting this big black bar or a bronze bar, I haven't decided, on the side. Because once again, I have to have functionality in my decoration. So I'm hanging the cutting boards I use the most right there. I'm gonna consider this one to hang. It has this little rope on there. I think it's cute. It is definitely the wood tones that we've got throughout the house. I'm digging it. The pine wood cutting board, 23.75 by 7.75. This is an essential piece for entertainment and the perfect addition to your tablescape. Oh yeah, and they have a charcuterie on theirs. It's what it's like epic for that because of how big it is. It says season regularly with food grade mineral oil and food safe conditioners to keep the wood. Now I will tell you, I love these because once you get some knife marks, you get some stain, they get this like natural wood patina and it looks so, so good. Um, so if it gets a little scuffed up, banged up and stained, it's supposed to. That's what's gonna give it that authentic, beautiful look. Okay, let's open this last item and then we're gonna run through some value quality, the curation as a whole, and we're just gonna chat. Am I opening it wrong? <laughs> I think I did it wrong. <laughs> there we go. The good old days are still to come. Oh, it's a sign. And there are actually four screws and anchors that go in each of the corners. And it says the good old days are still to come. Okay, so I have to ask, did anybody else's brain like immediately go to this? Like almost instantly, I'm probably not holding it straight, but that is where my brain went when I opened the sign. I don't know if it's supposed to go that way, but if you're like, well, where am I supposed to put this sign? It would look awfully cute hanging <laughs> like this. You could put the screws in it or you could just command strip it. It is not real firm. Ooh, I'm getting fingerprints all on it. Sorry about that. I'll wipe it down. But it is, it's a t it's made of like that tin look. I wonder if you could hang it outdoors. I love tin signs outdoors. The good old days metal sign is dripping with charm and presented with a bold matte finish, which is why I accidentally got fingerprints all over it. I'll wipe them off. Uh, 6.9 inches by 14 inches. And here's how they did it. They didn't even use the screws. They just leaned up against the background. Oop, they just leaned it up against. Uh, the tile there, which is really, really pretty. So we have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. One of them being 
a six foot garland, one of them being a bench, and then the rest of them being great supporting accessories. Definitely the natural woods and the blacks are trending in this box. I don't think this box is like spring, summer. I would call it an excellent everyday box, um, which I think they have an everyday box because I've heard you guys talking about it. I haven't opened it, but I can say the quality is great. The curation is great and the value is a million percent there. And I know because we've been talking a lot, people were looking for color, looking for spring color. And even though this is neutral, you could fill this with succulents, you could fill this with hydrangeas, you could add the color you want there. Same thing in your candlesticks, you could add the color you want there. Um, and you can integrate these in. So although there's not color in the pieces, I feel like all of these pieces really will play well easily with color. I think that they would play well with a blue like I'm wearing now, or if I scooted out and we just had this green and natural grasses, it would work there. I think these pieces would swing full on farmhouse in a heartbeat, but I think that they would also swing very, very modern. My house is mid-century modern and I'm gonna have zero problems plugging these in because these are just very universal trending pieces for right now. We won't dive into it right now, but they do have the style guide. You scan the QR code and they have full styling tips. I'm gonna be doing a spring decorate with me, so you'll see these popping up, so make sure you subscribe to the channel because when I pop that up, um, I don't know when, probably in the next couple of weeks or so, you'll see all of these pieces at play because when I do my spring and Easter decorate with me's, I use the items from my subscription boxes almost exclusively. And I'm looking, oh here, their picture of the wreath, like this is what's in here. They have the magnolia set up as a wreath and you can see the white texture there. They left a lot of the white textures on. I think it gives it a more farmhouse feel. As someone who has a less farmhouse, I like the really clean leaf and I think it looks much prettier now that I've dabbed it out. So if you get yours and you're like, oh, I don't like that. It really does like literally take the leaf in the center where it's really, really white, get a paper towel and dab it out and it creates a great, great, more modern look. Okay. Y'all gotta speak into me. I wanna hear, I love unboxing these things. I love being able to touch them to talk about the quality and the curation, but I would love to hear what y'all's feedback is. So go down below and comment. Did you subscribe to this box or did you order this box? What are you thinking of it? What are your thoughts on it not having a spring fill? Are you kind of thankful that it's universal, more everyday pieces? Or did you wish it had more color to it? Um, if you have some cool, unique hacks or ideas about these, let us know. Y'all's feedback is absolutely invaluable because as people are trying to decide if they should invest in a box, if they can hear and see from me and then hear from you guys as well, it really can help somebody decide if this box is a match for them or not. There is a subscription box for everyone, but not every box is for everyone. And that's what we're doing here. We're finding the best of the best, presenting them to y'all to see if they're a match for you. The fun has only just begun around here. We have so many boxes coming in. Normally I release three times a week. You're gonna be seeing four, maybe even five videos a week for a little bit, because there's so much coming out with spring, Easter, and then we've got these early summer launches that are already happening. And I know you guys who are like in several feet of snow are like, what do you mean early summer? Yeah, we're, we've got, Decor still is one of them. Got the, people are rolling. So we're just going to be unboxing and sharing it all. Lifestyle, home, fashion, self-care. We're just going to be playing, playing with boxes, mystery boxes, subscription boxes, gift boxes, and more. So subscribe if you don't want to miss out. We also have our Ask the Pink Envelope private Facebook group. It's a great place to go to just chat the good and the bad. We do not... We want everybody to talk about whatever they need to talk about. Ask the questions they need to ask that maybe here on the comments on YouTube, you would feel too vulnerable. You can pop into that group and ask those questions. Uh, the group over there is really, really phenomenal. Uh, a very happy and kind group. So we invite all kind people <laughs> to come hang out with us because it's really a cool spot. We also do giveaways. Um, and all sorts of fun things over there. I hope that you guys are having a very blessed weekend. And if you subscribe to the channel, I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye y'all.